Just got a quick email there, or like a promotion email from Calumet, which is a camera company, uh, which I've, I've bought quite a few stuff from in the past. And uh, it was saying that D4, Nikon D4 promotions, and if you do, uh, uh, I, I can't see it on their website at the moment, but something like if you trade in your old camera, you can get certain amounts of money off buying a Nikon D4. And I was like, oh, it's like, pff, yeah, not interested. But then every so often, I'm, I'm human as well, and I'm just like, oh, a Nikon D4 would be nice, especially uh, because I also have to do my taxes. And at the end of the year, or end of the tax year, I have to go, I've made X amount of money and I have uh, spent X minus five and oh, I need to pay tax on all that. So kind of to me, I'm thinking, if I bought something which is about five grand, then that would mean I'd have no tax to pay and I'd have an awesome camera. Ha oh, ha win all round. Um, so so I can understand why some people get very tempted, but for me it's still, um, the Nikon D4 is just way too expensive. I can never, like the, the the value of paying off four or five grand off my mortgage would be far more beneficial than buying a camera, which I don't really need. Um, but, it, oh, it's tempting, it's tempting. But what what I would say is whenever I was, I was doing this kind of just, you know, just like window shopping kind of thing, this would be my, my window shopping uh, thing I would say for other photographers is Think about the most, oh, in fact, there it is down there. Pa yeah, trade-in package worth 800, 800 quid off. I reckon you've got to have a Nikon, like, D3S, and you probably only get 300, uh, 800 quid off. Anyway, um, check out Cali, mate, if you want to know what the details are. All right, my advice would be, is look at the cost of the camera, which you think you want to buy. Let's say it's one and a half thousand, two thousand pounds, or 1,800, or somewhere around about that. And just before you look at it too carefully, then look at all the lenses you could buy for the same money. So I'm not saying don't buy the camera, I'm not saying don't go window shopping, but look at the amount of money that you think that you're willing to spend on a brand new camera, and then just go shopping on the lenses which you could get. Well, you know, what would be the most awesome lens for that price? Or could you buy three lenses which would be pretty darn good as well? So uh, it, it, every so often it's quite a good kind of a little kind of like, ooh, I'm willing to spend this, but I didn't think about spending it on lenses, but all these lenses, because the, the phrase is still very true. You will buy and sell and discard your camera 10 times over before you buy and sell and discard a good lens. So I'm not talking about just like a, a cheap crappy lens, I'm talking about a good lens. Some, some people just never, ever get rid of their lenses because they're just like, it's so good, it's, why would I get rid of it? Meanwhile, with cameras, you go, it was good, but now there's better, and maybe the better ones could help me out. But with lenses, it doesn't really happen. So I would say, just a little tip, just everyone, just, before, just pass this on to anybody else that you think is buying, oh, I really would buy a 2,000 pound camera, just go, what lenses could you get instead and how much more benefit do you think you'd get from those lenses compared to spunking all that money on a brand new camera? Which do you really need? Indeed, indeed. Just a little thought, just, just trying to keep myself sane here and not accidentally press buy on a camera so I don't have to pay tax next year. Oh.